Sally Hancock here and today I'd like to share with you something I got for my Traveler's Notebook. I got this Traveler's Notebook from Simple Stories or Carpe Diem I guess um, at Hobby Lobby and it came uh, with one insert. So my sister had been getting the Freckled Fawn kits, scrapbooking kits or embellishments I guess it was and and I thought that sounded so fun, but I wasn't sure I'd be able to use that much product to get a kit every month. So I had been searching for a fun kit to get um, by mail. So I was watching... Um, anyway, I can't remember. I think it was on Instagram. That's what it was. Um, Leo Conkar, who is, who, um, is at Simple Stories, showed a cute... Uh, layout that she did for her Traveler's Notebook and talked about a kit that she does. And so I thought, oh, perfect. So it's just a smaller kit and it's just to decorate your Traveler's Notebook every month. And it comes every other month so you get enough product for two months. So here is what I got for March and April. It came with, well, it came with... Um, an insert. You get one insert because you already have one in your traveler's notebook. So you get one for every two months, which is plenty for me. And then uh, she gave a little bit of washi tape, two different kinds. This is for March, and then that one will be for April. And a little bit of embellishments to add. And then for March, there's this, she gave the whole um, simple set from Simple Stories of the Happy Easter. Let me, I'll turn it this way. I think it'll be easier to see. So it comes with six papers, six double-sided papers, right? Two sheets each of three, yeah. So six, so you get two of each sheet and then a sticker sheet. So plenty of product to decorate with. And then, oh, I'm in love. This is the Simple Stories I Am collection. And this one, she just gave um, a few things. This is for March again. And isn't this beautiful? Look at that, gold, rose gold accents. And here's the stripe on the other side. That beautiful floral with the gingham on the back. And here's the 12 by 12 cut apart sheet. Lots of, let me turn it that way, lots of pretty cut aparts. And then here's my favorite is a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Let me turn it this way so you can see. Well, Kind of hard to see it all, not fitting in my camera very good. Anyway, there's words at the bottom and then really nice um, sayings, beautiful, enough, amazing, brave. I just, it's so pretty and the pretty florals and it's just really fun. So that one will be for decorating for March. And then she also sends a video showing you how she used the product to decorate her traveler's notebook. And also um, a few little extra things to make, like for March she showed how to make um, a folder to add and, um, and so I thought I would show you how I am going to decorate my kit or my Traveler's Notebook for March. All right, for the top pocket, uh, she said to cut out um, the examples of what the pattern paper looks like off of the cover sheet, which I thought was a brilliant idea. It's just the very same pattern in a smaller it's like a tiny little, like, three by three paper pad. Super cute. So, um, 
this is for the top pocket and she likes to outline everything and I thought well that seems like a it would take a long time but after watching her I really liked how it looked and she uses just a fine sharpie so I bought um, some fine sharpies and we'll give the outlining thing a try and see what we think oh, I'm not very good I guess you could use a ruler if you want it to be more straight that one was better maybe I'll put that one at the bottom and so she just Slipped it in the top pocket. Mm, I think it fits. Oh golly. That is tight. Okay. Just like that. And then she took the cut aparts, and there's one here that has a pretty pink pattern on it. It says he has risen. But she turned it around and used a border punch with a scallop to decorate that edge. So I have this one here and she had a nice tip because I have a hard time knowing where to punch. She turns hers upside down to punch and then she can see right where to line up the next holes so it all punches out to match and you don't have any any scallops that are cut off or whatever. I've definitely done that so I, I like that tip. So you just put it in and you line up the ones you've already punched and then you know that that end will cut right. Okay so that's how that order punch looks. And then again, she outlined. So we'll just, let's see. I'll just do around the top. Just to kind of emphasize those a little bit. And then that just got tucked in like that. And then she used the this Happy Spring sticker. They're pretty thick. And just, let's see, how did she do this? I'm trying to remember. Just kind of stuck that like that, I think. And then this cute little chick. I'll kind of have him live right there. Okay, so that is the first pocket. So the next po pocket, she again took the paper from the sheet, the cover sheet, and she said there's script on here, but I think that's the right direction. And Again, she outlined. And there was one of the cut aparts that she used, which was this one. I think a bit like that. Like that. And then she took the journaling card that had the carrots and fussy cut the carrots out. So I'll do that and be right back. Okay, so here's my carrots, and um, I used the twine to do a little bow. Let's see if I can get those to hang down. And then I just attached it with a glue dot. And then you just put those in the pocket. Oh, so cute. So cute. And then um, 
in this space here, let's put um, let's see. I'll put springtime and maybe rejoice. Okay, and then she put this pretty tulip sticker. Like that. And this cute Easter bunny. Let's see. We have to kind of put him underneath the carrots a little bit to read the word. Huh. Easter Bunny will fit right there too. There we go. And she probably outlined her sticker. Let's take out the carrot and see how that looks. It does make it pop a little bit. I'll put the carrots back in. There we go. There's the second pocket. All right, for this third pocket here, she used one of the journaling cards and um, used the back of it for the stripe. Um, they are wider, but I decided to use the again from the cover sheet so I could have this pretty journaling card for something else. So I outlined that. I'll just put that in there. Oops. Going to print it. Pockets haven't been used yet so they're a little stiff. Oh, it's a little bit long. I'm going to trim it. I think these bottom pockets must be a little bit smaller. There we go. Don't want it to cover up this other cute pocket here. And then she uh, fussy cut the egg basket out of the journaling card and then she used stickles on some of them. Um, I decided to use my, let me put this over there, my Wink of Stella, my clear Wink of Stella. And I'm trying to think if I oh, this must be silver. Well, I'll we'll have some silver here. So of let that dry and I shimmer to it. And that just got let's put that over on this side I think. And then add the flower sticker here. Go right there. There. All right, the bottom pocket has this fussy cat bunny from one of the three by four cut aparts. And he'll just get slipped in there. And then um These. Now since this journal or this cover is faux leather, it's okay to stick stickers on it. Now you can just use some Goo Gone or something if it's sticky after. So I'll just put these flowers around the bunny like that. And then at the very bottom is this 
Easter sticker. There we go. And that just goes on the bottom like that. Oh, very cute. I love it. So fun to open up and see the cute decoration. How fun. Okay, next I will cover my insert. Okay, so the way she covers them is just to kind of make a slip cover so that if you have not finished this um, insert and you're ready for the next month, then you can just uh, take off your washi tape and uh, put a new, a new cover on. So um, she used this pink polka dot and like I said before, it has words on it. So when you cut it out, make sure you have the words going the right way. I have them go sideways. So be aware, be aware of that when you're cutting it out. So it's just the 12, full 12 inch, inch width and they're one and a quarter inch tall. So just cut that out and then wrap it around. And then she used this floral card. And then she added some detail to these leaves, which I thought looked really pretty. So she just outlined a few of the leaves. And then she glued that on and added Let's see, it's a sticker that said, hey there, hey there, chickadee. So she just added those to the front. So I'll do that and be right back. Okay, so here is this cover completed. And then I'll do the next, the second insert and show you how that looks. Okay, here I am all done. So there are the pockets all decorated cute. And here is my first insert, and here is the pocket um, tip-in that she explained how to do in the how-to video. And I added, she just had one pocket here, and I just glued in um, the part that I cut off here. I just glued it on the other side so I could have two pockets. And then here is how my second insert turned out. Super cute! Um, I guess I could outline this bunny. That might make it look cute. Um, but a really fun kit. I am excited and I have quite a bit of product left that I can use for scrapbooking or whatever. So um, super cute. If you would like this kit, then uh, I'll leave a link below to her website. I, I think it's called Lail by Mail, and um, I'll leave a link so you can see how to get this fun kit. So, thanks for watching!